Let's draw some shapes in Eclipse today. Okay, let's get started. Eclipse. We we'll accept the default uh, workspace. Okay, launch. Okay. So let's right click here to create a new project. Java project. I do shapes. So shapes is a good name. Next. Finish. We simply accept all the default configuration and unfold it and uh, select the source folder and right click. We'll create our package Java package, new package. Com dot golden sun dot golden ladder dot shapes. You can use anything. This doesn't matter. If you don't want to publish your source code to yeah to the open public area. Okay, now next let's create our Entry point class, new Java class, Java, yes, class. So our naming convention is we use a capitalized um, word or phrase for class name, shape. Okay, because this is the entry point, so let's check this one, main method, finish. And our plan is will still uh, pop up a JFrame object as our window, and uh, we'll create a, another J panel subclass for drawing. Yeah, let's make sure our JFrame works. So JFrame control space for auto complete. Yeah. The name frame equals new J frame. Control space again. Uh, let's use this one so we can add a per parameter or argument like fun shapes. Okay. And let's set its size. Set size. Let's use the width and height. What about the 400 and the 300? Yes. Why not? And we let's introduce another shortcut key combination. Shift Control. No, Shift. Sorry, Enter. To jump to the second line, the next line. So today we will set the location, initial location. Set the location. So I, here is the interesting thing. I just realized that recently I can use the number to control the location on like two screens of mine. So this one will be a big number because I put the, the other uh, screen above this one. So in your case, this should be a like, small number. Now let's put it on the screen, set the visible true. Yes, why not? And the save. The shortcut key combination for running is command shift F11. Yes, it works. Now it's time to create the J panel subclass for our 
drawing okay so go to here right click new class shape J no panel is good enough finish so like what we did before we need to extend J panel control space yes this one and uh, you see this line was added automatically by the by Eclipse thanks Eclipse so we need to override the pain component method paint component yes this guy so we can delete that yeah control D to delete the line okay now today we'll introduce a new class graphic 2d we can use that object to set line width and uh, rendering color okay graphic 2d so g2 equals actually we can cast the g the graphics object to the type of graphics 2d yeah we'll explain this concept cast later in the future Now, that's set. Let's draw a straight line uh, with color and uh, a different line width. So, to set the line width, we have to use set stroke. And what is stroke? New basic stroke. There's one constructor supporting the width. Let's use that. Uh, let's say use 5. Now let's set the color. Set the color. Yes. Color dot. Let's use pink. Okay. Now we can draw the line. Let's go from 10, comma 20 to 100, comma. I mean the coordinate, right? Command S to say, Command Shift on my MacBook. Command Shift and F11 to run it. yes oh no we missed one thing we created this class but we haven't created an object of that and put it in use so let's go to shapes here yeah we need to create an object of our shapes panel shapes panel panel equals new control space yeah, easy. And the frame add, right? Component, yes, the component is this panel, newly created object. Okay, oh, semicolon. And run it. Here we are. The pop up window and the line from uh, 1020 to 100 and 200 100 and 200 yes let's keep going oh let's fix this warning first so it says something about like some 
advanced information. Don't worry about that. Let's just do a quick fix using a suggestion here. Yeah. Uh, this line won't affect anything about like what we are doing today. So delete that. Uh, okay. Let's continue. Uh, here, let's put a comment here for, about. Uh, This line, so is a uh, a straight line. Straight line. Let's do a oval or circle. But today, let's do oval. It's easy to draw an an oval. It's easy to draw a circle too. How can we do that? Let's use a different color, so g2 dot set color. Color dot black, yes. Draw. Oval, yes. Um, let's go to 150 and 100 width, 80, and uh, height. Okay, let's give it a try. Yes, but did you notice? The rendering quality is not perfect. It's not the the edge here, right? Of the oval is not it's not smooth enough. Let's fix this. Sorry, there's a typo here. Should be A. Yeah. Oval. Um the trick is set rendering hint so key is a constant rendering rendering hint dot key anti aliasing and this guy and the value is Render hint dot value and the alias of on oh, yeah so let's try it again you see this time the rendering quality is perfect. Yeah. Let's move on. Next, we'll draw and fill our triangle. To do that, we'll introduce our new class called Pass2D. Pass2D. Let's create an object of pass two D pass two D dot double Yeah, this means we'll use double as the number type for this pass. So pass dot move to the first point of our triangle which is 360 then we'll move to the next 
point of this triangle. Line two, okay. So we'll go to the right and down, 350 and down to 200. Next. We'll move to the left. So this will be our base of this triangle. So X will be less. And Y should be the same, right? So it must be 200 if we want to keep the base horizontal. We don't need to draw the last line to close the opening because Java can do that for us. Close pass. Yes, this guy. And after we create the pass, we can draw it. G2, draw. Oh, let's set the stroke first. Same idea, new basic stroke. And let's provide a width. This time, let's use three. And set the color to which color do you want? I'll use red. This guy. G two dot draw. This one. And we can put the pass in. Command S to save and uh, Command Shift F11 to run. In your computer, if it's a Windows computer, it might be a different. Yeah, there, our triangle, red triangle. Let's move on to fill in with green color. G2 dot set the color. Oh, let's introduce a, another uh, handy uh, shortcut key combination to duplicate a line of code like this one. Hold on command and the option key and use the down arrow key to duplicate. Okay, now we use another uh, combination to move down this line. Hold on, Option key and uh, use the down arrow key to move down. You see, we can move up and down. Yeah, cool. Now change this to green. And use our shortcut key to go to the next line. What's that? Shift, Enter. Yes, G to dot. Fill pass, yes, and uh, delete this line, save and run. Ta -da! That's it for today. See you next time.